As part of the Redder Robotics Showcase, I'll be giving a talk on Saturday the 10th of June at 11am EST. For anyone here in Australia, that is 1am on Sunday the 11th of June. My slot is 30 minutes long, with 15 to 20 minutes of that being for the talk, and the rest of the time reserved for questions. These talks are hosted live on YouTube, and you can find links to the event in the description, as well as a link to the live stream that gives you the option of being notified when the event is starting. I'm really excited for this event, and I hope that you can be there to watch it. Part of the reason I'm mentioning this now is that I'd like to know if there's anything that you would like to see in my talk. Are there any aspects of the robot or the project writ large that you're curious about? Let me know in the comments, and I'll try to fit as much as I can into the talk. Now for a brief project update. After the overwhelming number of suggestions on my last linear actuator video, I decided to redesign the actuator to make some much needed improvements. I'll make a full video on the topic once it's ready, but that might not be for a couple of weeks because I'm still waiting for some parts to arrive and I've got to do some testing once they do arrive. But I think it'll be worth the wait because I think this design is super cool and I'm really keen to show you how it works and how well it performs. Now, you might be wondering why I've decided to spend more time on the linear actuators when the current design probably would suffice for now. And there's two reasons for this. The first is that I heard recently in a podcast with the CEO of Boston Dynamics that having good solid hardware is absolutely critical for robotics. If you have subpar hardware, then you end up making really hacky solutions in the software and you have to deal with problems that don't need to exist. But if you have good robust hardware, then you can just focus on the truly interesting problems. And part of our philosophy has always been build the best hardware you can, make, make the machine operate well so that you're trying to solve, you know, discover the, the hard problem that you don't know about. Don't, don't make it harder by, by building a crappy machine, basically. Mm -hmm. Build the best machine you can. There's plenty of hard problems to solve that are going to have to do with you know, under-actuated systems and balance. The second issue is that I've been hitting a rather frustrating roadblock with getting the Stuart platform working. The TLDR of this is that I'm using a CAN bus to communicate with the three O-drives that drive the motors, and for some reason, it's not working. I've documented the issue on the O-drive forum, but I haven't had any replies yet, and I really don't know what's going on. I've tried everything that I can think of, and nothing is working. If anyone has any experience with CAN buses or O-Drive, I would really appreciate if you could take a look at it and lend any help that you can offer. Hopefully we can get this fixed before my talk next week and the Stuart platform can be shown live in the talk. I think that'd be really cool. One other thing is that I likely won't be able to post as regularly as I have been anymore because my other commitments have started to ramp back up again. If you would like to stay more in the loop with the project, then consider supporting me on Patreon where I post more regularly about what's happening with the project. Thanks everyone, and I hope to see you in my talk next week.